Welcome back guys today we will be starting reduction formula so let me define what is reduction what a reduction formula is so any formula which expresses an integral in terms of another integral which is simpler is called a reduction formula so there are some standards trigonometric and other functions reduction formula which needs to be evaluated so first we will see our function of integration of sine to the power nx dx and the same and for the second part we will do 0 to pi by 2 sine to the power nx dx where n is greater than 1 be a positive integer so let us start this so suppose we take let jn be integration of sine to the power nx dx so now we will express it now we will write this as sine to the power nx d times sine to the power x now we will do integration by parts so first we will take this as the first function and this as the second function so this will remain constant and integration of sine x is minus cos x now integration so we will do the derivative of this this will be n minus 1 times sine to the power n minus 2 x now si derivative of sine x will be cos x and integration of sine x will be minus cos x dx so now this will be minus cos x sin in sine to the power n minus 1 x this will be plus n plus n minus 1 now integration of sine to the power n minus 2 this will be cos square x dx now so again this will be same plus n minus 1 now this will be now we can express sin n minus cos square x as 1 minus sin square x dx so we did this to just to simplify this now this will be minus sin n minus 1 x cos x plus n minus 1 now we will just multiply this this will be sin n minus 2 x dx and this will be minus n minus 1 integration of so this will be sin n minus 2 x sin of sin square x now this will be minus sin n minus 1 x cos x plus n minus 1 so we can write this as j of n minus 2 this will be j of n minus 2 minus n minus 1 this will be j of n this will be sin to the power nx that will be j of n now taking this to this side so this will be n j n that will be minus sin to the power n minus 1 x cos x plus n minus 1 j of n minus 2 so now dividing this by n we get sin to the power n minus 1 x cos x upon n plus n minus 1 upon n j of n minus 2 so this is our reduction formula for integration of sin to the power nx so n x so this was our reduction formula now we will now we will find the value of this so we will find the this was our reduction formula now we will find the reduction formula for 0 to pi sin to the power nx so that will be so so let us consider this uh, an equation so let 
आई एन बी जीरो टू दि पावर जीरो टू पाई बाई टू साइन टू दि पावर एन एक्स डी एक्स सो इफ वी नाउ इफ वी प्रोवाइड लिमिट टू आवर दिस दैट विल गिव अस आई एन दैट विल बी माइनस साइन एन माइनस वन एक्स कॉस एक्स अपॉन एन प्लस एन माइनस वन अपॉन एन जे ऑफ एन माइनस टू जीरो टू पाई बाई टू जीरो टू पाई बाई टू सो दिस इट विल गिव अस आई एन विच इज जीरो टू पाई बाई टू साइन ऑफ एक्स सो नाउ वील पुट द लिमिट साइन जीरो इज जीरो एंड कॉस पाई बाई टू इज जीरो सो इट विल बी इट विल गिव एनी वे जीरो प्लस जीरो एंड दिस इट विल गिव इफ यू अप्लाई दिस इट विल गिव आई ऑफ एन माइनस टू सो आई और आई एन टर्न आउट टू बी एन माइनस वन अपॉन एन आई ऑफ एन माइनस टू सो दिस इज अवर रिडक्शन फॉर्मूला फॉर लिमिटिंग वैल्यू फॉर द डेफिनेट इंटीग्रल ऑफ दिस Now, since we got the limit, all the formulas. Now we need to evaluate the value of this. De evaluate the value of the definite integral. So we got that i n will be zero to pi by two sine of n x d x. Now, and we know that i of n is now equals to n minus one upon n upon i of n minus two. so now we just if you replace n by so now replace n by n minus 2 so we get i of n minus 2 now n by n minus 2 it will be n by n minus 3 upon n minus 2 i of n minus 4 similarly uh, i of n minus 4 will be n minus phi upon n minus three n minus four i of n minus six. Then now putting all the values in the reduction formula, putting all the values in the reduction formula, we get i n will be equals to n minus one upon n times n minus three upon n minus two. n minus five upon n minus four i n minus six. So we put this in our original equation, and we got this. Now, hence we can hence we get i of n that will be equals to n minus one upon n n minus three upon n minus two n minus five upon n minus four. So we observe here the sequence goes on up to it will go up to three. For if n is or suppose if n is even, so the last term will be zero, i of zero. So it will go like this: three and two. It will be four, and it will be two. So the last term will be i of zero for even. And for odd, it will be this: n minus three upon n minus two, n minus five, n minus four. It will be four. Five, four, two, and three, and the last term will be i of one because this is the smallest odd number and this is the smallest even number. So this was our i n. Now, now we need to calculate i of one. For i of one, we calculate this by zero to pi by two sine of x. Here n is one, that is dx. Evaluating this, we get one, and i of zero. Zero to pi by two, sine of zero x dx. That will be pi by two. So our final answer will turn out something like this: i of n that will be equals to n minus one upon n n minus three upon n minus two n minus five upon n minus four three by four one by two. This will be pi by two when n is even. And for odd, this will be n minus two, n minus five, n minus four. This will be four by five, two by three, and this will be 
1 so this is n for odd so this is our value evaluate this is the value of i of n for this integral so if you had any problems comment below and if you did like my video hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you